welcome to part one of uh, Easy Ballistics tutorial. In this part, we are going to go through absolute basics uh, of how to create a functional weapon for a first person shooter. Before we start, I'm going to assume you already know how to create a basic uh, first person uh, shooter character that can move and look around and also that you know how to install plugins. Installation for this one is the same as for EasyFM, so I'll just leave annotation here for that part of the tutorial. So here is our, our first person character and let's add a visual model for the weapon here. It's going to be a simple static mesh. I have already prepared a gun model and I'll put it somewhere around here and make sure it's set as child object of the camera so when you look up and down the weapon will move as well like this of course if you want to set up your character in some different way or it's like entirely different type of game you can set it up as you want uh, this is just for the tutorial and let's add a EB barrel component. This is uh, the first half of uh, Easy Ballistics. And this is, of course, the part the bullets will come from. And I'm going to set it as child object of our weapon. And as you probably guessed from the name, it needs to be aligned with the barrel. Sort of like this. And next thing we need to create is um, the bullet that will be launched from that barrel. And this is done by create uh, blueprint class. And uh, under here under all classes, we need to find EB bullet. And our new object will be based on uh, this one, like this. Oops, just pull it. and if you open it you can see that it's just like any other object except uh, when you look at class settings uh, its parent class is EB bullet. and the only thing we are going to do right now is enable debug like this this needs to be done to make sure that you can uh, see what the bullet is doing even though it doesn't have any visual representation yet. Of course, in actual game you can add any any child object, whether it's like static mesh or particle system or a light or a, anything else. And let's leave everything else at default for now. I'll go to detailed settings later. Now, uh, let's go back to our player character. Go to EB Barrel and find a parameter that says MO. This is of course uh, the type of bullets that we're going to shoot. And let's add our bullet here. By the way, uh, please uh, do not uh, add the uh, EB bullet itself because this is an abstract class that and needs uh, some other object derived from it to work and if you just add B EB bullet itself it will most likely crash uh, Unreal if you try to shoot it so only use bullets that you created yourself like this next thing we need to do is to create a, a input event that will actually trigger the shooting so let's go to project settings and in action mappings let's create a new action that will be let's call it let's just call it shoot and we're going to bind it to left mouse button like this and Let's add this event here. And now with EB barrel, we have a function called shoot. 
and let's set it so every time the left mouse button is pressed uh, we are going to call this function and here we have a bool called trigger and it will be on when the mouse button is pressed and when it's released it will be set to off in other words when it's pressed it will start shooting and uh, when it's uh, released it will stop shooting of course you only need this second part if it's a automatic weapon if it's a semi-auto or burst the trigger will be automatically released and now we should have everything we need for a working weapon let's see if it works yeah everything seems to be functional and that's the basic functionality in the following parts we're going to go through more detailed settings for both the bullet and uh, the barrel itself